All right, more now on that news. Just into CNN, Boeing has actually finished the development of a software fix to its troubled 737 MAX plane. The plane was grounded around the world after two crashes and 346 deaths. I want to bring in Tom Foreman, who's been covering the story from the very beginning. So, Tom, just give us more specifics about this actual software fix and what it involves. Uh, the software fix has gone through a bit of an evolution from the start as more details of the plane's problems became known. Uh, as we would understand it now, one of the things that this would overcome is, is some of the ability to shut off this MCAS system, which, remember, was an automated uh, leveling system on the plane, which is implicated in both the Indonesia and in the Ethiopian crash and making the plane sort of nose down in an uncontrolled way until it crashed. So it would make it a little bit easier for them to control that system when they had to, to shut it off when they had to, and it would automatically include, not as an added feature, but as a standard feature, uh, a readout in the cockpit that would let these pilots know if this thing kicked in. They say in the updated software, they've flown at 207 flights, more than 360 hours, and the CEO of Boeing, Dennis Mullenberg, who's really been in the hot seat over all of this, says that uh, we're making clear and steady progress and we're confident the 737 MAX with updated MCAS software will be one of the safest airplanes ever to fly. He can say that, but they still have to get it past the FAA and not just the FAA, but also air regulators around the world who at this point may not be so keen to take the U.S.'s certification of this plane as being okay since it took the FAA longer than almost anyone else to pull it from the sky. So if they don't take the U.S.'s certification of this plane as being okay, if they don't take their word for it, what is the approval process from the FAA going to be like? Well, the approval process will be, uh, as I, I would think in this case, because of what we've heard, a bit more rigorous than normal processes because everybody loses if this does not come out properly here. So so I think what's going to happen is, is if you base it on what we heard from the hearing yesterday about this, the FAA will to some degree be in lockstep with Boeing and saying, here's what we did, here's how it was tested, here's the proof that this works. I just think there's going to be some political reluctance from other governments around the world who are going to say, listen, you certified it in the first place, when it got into trouble, you took longer than anyone else to make these things park. We're going to look at this with our own eyes. It probably won't keep it out of the sky if you get to that point, but it could delay it a little bit longer. And truthfully, for Boeing right now, every single day they're delayed is yet more money on this airplane lost and more opportunities. Yeah, some airlines are seeking compensation for the planes yeah, they have to keep grounded. Okay, not, not to mention the possible lawsuits from the 346 people exactly. whose lives were lost in these two accidents. Exactly. Um, Tom Foreman, Life for us. thank you so much. Appreciate that.